How will Louis IV surprise us? Ah, uh, I... Where am I? It's all right, son. Don't panic. It's over. Uh, I'm back? Where are the guests? I invited them to go up to their rooms. They're resting. Don't worry. Gregory? We won, Louis. It's over. He's dead? Definitively. Now the way It seems that siding with Mortimer rate, here rejoice. gave me the same Great dialogue as I got with Louis the what First. What did you do to him? I devoured his soul. You... but... I did well not to follow home, didn't I? Come on, let's get it over with and join Mortimer in the dining room. The one thing that changed was the line at the end. Now let's go and talk to Dad. I mean, we're his best son after all. Right, now's the time to join Mortimer. I won't be able to go back after... Here we go. Louis, I was expecting you. Do you feel better? Yes, yes, don't worry, I'll be alright. I wanted to speak with you about what's going to happen next. But before we begin, I would like you to give me back the Holy Lance, please. Now that Gregory is gone, you won't be needing it anymore, and I prefer to put it back in its place. Of course. Here you are, Father. Thank you. You wouldn't have been able to do much with it anyway, given it isn't the right one. You mean I got the wrong one? Now, don't blame yourself. There was a reason why I put it with all those copies. If you had been forced to use it, he would never have prevented one of us from changing bodies. This conference will have been one of the most eventful I've ever known. I'll just have to take your word for it. Before I get to why we're here, you must know that I've been watching you very closely over these past few days. As far as the door of my crypt is concerned, it is a pity that you lost your hand while trying to open it. You committed a serious mistake in proving unable to tell your sisters apart causing the death of the most promising of the two. I won't lie to you, I was surprised and above all disappointed when I found out you had tried to discredit me with his holiness by writing a letter to the Papal States. Damn it, he found out. Anyway, now it's time to put an end to things, once and for all, Louis. The poison that runs through your veins has definitively deprived you of the hopes I had placed in you through your own faults. Come on, Dad. A little poison's never hurt anyone. Right? Don't you worry about it, Father. I'm a demon, and I'm your son. I'll make it through. I don't think so. I'll be honest with you, Louis, though it pains me. Your body is corrupted. The poison has been spreading inside you for too long. It has already caused irreparable damage. You are of no use to me now. I beg your pardon? You see, when the time comes for me to change bodies, I usually pass into the body of one of my children. The transition is much smoother and allows me to be operational much more quickly. Seeing the good work you had done since your arrival, I was convinced I had found my next body. Could only be you. But then you had to go and ruin everything. But father! Why are you telling me this? Not after all I've done, I... I beseech you! Don't make this any harder than it already is, please. Harder? Listen, just be grateful that I'm granting you your freedom. Now I'll ask you to leave me and be gone within the hour. Moreover, if I were you, I wouldn't waste a single second in sterile conversation, because I'm not so sure that poison will even let you see the French coast again. You damned... I should have never listened to you! Rotten hell!
Von Vollmer tightened his political and spiritual grip on King Frederick. We've heard that. Manuel Godoy's close relationship with Napoleon enabled him to claim upon... And Napoleon. this as well. Napoleon Bonaparte continued his political and military rise. Whoa, spoilers until... game. During his second term, George Washington had to deal with... This is old news too. His eminence Piaggi paid dearly for disobeying his holiness over his vote at the conference. It was consequently decided to withdraw him from diplomatic and political decision-making within the Papal States. It was rumored that his great age got the better of him, and he was sent to end his days in a Tuscan monastery, where he died two years later. So Piaggi is the one man Louis directly screws over. They are forgetting a major success here, don't they? Never slept with his sister. Right, so there are a couple more endings I could try, like, say, failing to convince Grandpa of our innocence as Louis II, or unpoisoning Louis IV and seeing what Dad is planning for him. I'll try to do that in the coming days, although unpoisoning Louis means I have to replay the last four quests as him. Also, there doesn't seem to be any reason to go back and record what happens if Louis IV doesn't get shot, because that part of the game is pretty much pointless. Anyway, for the last credits roll, I'm going to remind you that these guys are working on a Vampire the Masquerade game. I still think they could pull it off, like, you arrive at some social gathering, and you get a choice of three people who can bite you, and you can pick this way between, I don't know, Ventru, Toreador and Tremier, the more social clans. And then you're told you have to uphold the highest level of masquerade, so no fancy looking superpowers for you, just some gentle mind tricks. And then? And then? At the halfway point, it turns out that vampires are not real. And this is all just an elaborate prank. And people look at you, they see you are squinting as if you are trying to read their thoughts, and they push play on their smartphones, and they play pre-recorded messages, so that you think you are reading their minds. And then it'll probably turn out that your best friend is both your father and your sister, and they're working for the CIA. And the reason you're at that gathering you're in is because that place is built on top of an ancient Indian burial spaceport. And so you get there, and solving a puzzle on the way that, I don't know, chops your dick off if you fail. And then, and then, in the last episode, you go into space, and you come back from space, in, like in the span of one cutscene, and, uh, well, space is shown, but it looks very much like the bathroom you start the game in. And then, while you're in space, you use a multi-layer menu to pick the landing spot out of a list of all the cities in the world, with a population of more than 500,000. And if you pick it right, you can actually prevent the world being taken over by an army of cyborg pandas. So what I'm saying is, I have high hopes for their vampire game. Who? I've got a couple more endings to clear, and then I'll play something else about an international summit going wrong.